G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be looking at continuation of our connective tissue. And in particular, we're going to be looking at dense regular connective tissue. Dense regular connective tissue. Now, if you remember my previous videos, we know that connective tissue is made up of two things. It's made up of cells and it's made up of extracellular matrix. Uh, now, the cells are the fixed and um, transient cells, and the extracellular matrix, matrix is made up of ground substance and fibers. We know that in connective, dense connective tissue that the cells are lower numbers, and when they are present, they tend to be fibrocytes rather than any other cell. We very find very few transient cells there. Uh, ground substance tends to be lower. Fibers tend to be in higher numbers. And in particular, they're uh, found in bundles. Um, so uh, dense re we've already looked at dense regular connective tissue. If you haven't seen that, please check out my previous video. Uh, but in dense regular connective tissue, we find them in the human body, particularly associated with tendons and ligaments in the human body. So let's start our three minutes. Okay, so what we're actually looking at here is uh, two sections of tendon. Uh, tendon being, of course, made up of dense regular connective tissue. Uh, so the fibers are, occur in bundles and they're running all in the same direction. Now, tendons are actually, because it's dense connective tissue, they're very low in blood vessels. And so it's a very, you know, a tissue which doesn't fix particularly well. Um, so if we zoom in here, we act, what we'll actually see is not a lot. We actually see this relatively um, amorphous type of acidophilia, um, and we've got these little streaks of purple, uh, or basophilia, in between. Um, so this is cut in longitudinal section here, uh, lengthways, and so these little blue streaks represent the fibrocytes amongst the, the fibers here. Over here, on the left hand side, we've actually got a tendon cutting cross section or transverse section. And again, it really doesn't show us very much. We've just got this relatively amorphous bundles and bundles of fibers, and then these little purple dots, these little basophilic dots represent the nuclei of the fibrocytes, which have been cut in cross section here. Um, if we have a look at this trichrome stain section here, this is a section of the knee joint. So here's the distal end of the femur. Here's the uh, proximal end of the tibia and the fibula. And so this is the knee joint here. We can actually see several uh, instances of uh, dense regular connective tissue. So we've got the patella ligament here. We've got some other ligaments down here as well. So if we sort of zoom in, uh, again, trichrome stain section, the collagen is stained blue. Um, we can actually see uh, the fibers here of the um, tendon, and these are the fibrocytes uh, in between. Now, if we sort of uh, continue along uh, with this uh, tendon here, sort of zoom out to the outside here. Uh, so here's our, here's our tendon. Again, thick bundles of collagen um, generally running in the same direction here. If we follow down, we can actually see a little bit of um, color change uh, here. And you can see how the um, nuclei of the uh, fibrocytes appear very, very flattened as they get squished between these thick bundles of, of collagen. We zoom in, we can actually see that, you know, we've got these bands of or bundles of collagen, but there's no striations present here. And sometimes this might get mistaken for skeletal muscle, for example. If we zoom out to um, over here, we've actually got some skeletal muscle cut in longitudinal section. And if we zoom in here, um, hopefully you can see some of these striations which we see um, present. So much thicker regular structure to skeletal muscle compared with um, dense regular connective tissue. There's a, a nice little um, uh, tendon inserting here. Uh, we can actually see it then become uh, continuous with the outer uh, fibrous layer of the periosteum, so this is compact bone. So this is the end of a um, tendon inserting into the side of um, the periosteum of bone. Anyway, um, as you can see, dense regular connective tissue, histologically not a lot to see, just bundles of fibers running in the same direction and um, fibrocytes interspersed in between. Very few blood vessels, certainly very few other cell types present. So that's what you'll be looking for to identify dense regular connective tissue. I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you in our other videos. Hooroo!